This is our new Outdoors RV travel trailer, model number 21 RBS, uh, the Mountain Series finished inside. Now let's walk around and see what kind of features we have. Okay, so we'll start our tour of the RV at the front here. First of all, you can see we have a solar charging port. That's for an external panel that you can have kind of mount on the floor. It comes pre-prepared with a 10 watt panel, which is basically just a trickle charger to keep the battery on the front topped up. Uh, but there's connectivity up there to add more if you want it and wiring inside for a solar charge controller. Next up, we have the storage bay. These are locking storage bays, uniquely keyed. This one here is a pass-through that goes all the way through. You can see all the way through to the other side there. Really good size storage space. And also inside here, we've got the battery disconnect switch. And we had an aftermarket tank heater added on as well. These are slam doors. So you just let them go and they lock as well. Underneath, you can see one of the four uh, scissor jacks. These are a manual. Uh, we've got the adapter to go onto the electric drill and that makes the, uh, the process much easier. Otherwise, there is a hand crank just inside that. Moving on, we have the awning. This is an electric awning. You can see it's fully extended at the moment. It also comes with an LED strip along there, which is wired in and runs off the 12 volt. Actually puts out a lot of light uh, when it's dark outside. Here's the window. This one goes into the bedroom. The bed is at the front in this model. This bottom section slides up and down and it has a uh, mesh screen in there for insect uh, protection. And then uh, these windows are thermal pane, so they are higher rated for keeping you warm inside. This is a four season RV, so that makes a big difference. Moving along here, you can see uh, access panels here and the furnace vent uh, here. This is the exhaust fan for that. And it also comes with uh, two outdoor power outlets as well. Super useful if we need that for anything outdoors. This is the uh, water heater. There is a master switch, as we found this morning, in there. This is what we use to turn on the, the electric water heater. You've got to make sure the hot water tank is full before you turn that on. Then inside here, you've got the fresh water uh, fill inlet. You can see down here, this one came with the off-road pack, the X4 off-road. That beefs up the suspension, adds some slightly bigger tires and makes it a little bit more durable. This particular RV model does have really good ground clearance. Uh, you can see it's really quite high off the floor. Uh, it has this aluminum skirting at the bottom and also a wheel well to provide a bit more protection on the tires. You can see we've got it leveled on the Anderson leveling charts right now. At the top, you can see the outdoor speakers. There's two of these, one at the front, one at the back. These are wired up inside to the stereo. And we've got the uh, outdoor vent fan here for the stove top. This here is the kitchen window. This has a slide on it as well, again with the mesh protection screen inside. Moving to the back corner of the RV here is the main entranceway with three steps. These are pretty solid steps. They, they work pretty well and they fold up nicely. Very easily for transportation. The handle here folds back also folds forward so if you want it to stop the um, door coming open whilst you're uh, driving it's a good extra safety feature also useful to have moving around the back here we have our sewer hose tucked away inside the rear bumper and then we have a ladder here for access to the roof in here we have the external shower hot and cold running water good for cleaning off bikes as, as much as anything else. One of the things to note about this RV is that because the ground clearance is so high, we found that actually our scissor jacks at the back didn't reach the floor when we arrived. So we're gonna to have to get some more leveling blocks, but we used a few pieces of wood in the meantime. It comes with a pre-attached hitch on the back. So good for a bike rack or a cargo carrier if you want it. Moving around again. This back corner is where all the main connections are. You've got your gray and black drain underneath. Then we have a 30 amp hookup. So we have satellite and cable TV. We have the city water and we have the semi flush. You can see we've got it hooked up here. We use a 90 degree elbow to reduce the strain on this connection here. That goes into our cartridge water filter. 
and then through a variable pressure regulator just to protect the system inside. It also has a light under here, so when you're doing the connections, if you need more light, that is there for that. Next up is the slide. As you can see, it's a single slide unit, this one. It has a window on each of the three sides of the slide. Uh, these all slide open as well. That's a lot of light in, inside. You'll see when we go inside that the layout in here is the dinette, and that gives a good seating area for lots of space. Moving on around to the front, you can see another window, this time a horizontal window for access to the bedroom. And the other side of the storage bay comes out here. Again, slam lock onto there. Finally, round to the hitch at the front, we have two 30 pound propane bottles and a single 12 volt battery on the front here. There is also space for a second battery if you want it, and you could probably get more on there if you adapted it to do so. We have it connected to the truck using the equalizer hitch. We got the 12K rated hitch, which is probably more than it needs, but we want to play it safe. This has been super stable so far. We've been really pleased with that. The tongue jack on here is electric. It also does have a light on it as well at the front. This tongue jack, uh, again, with the same as the scissor jack at the back, we did find was struggling to reach the floor with the plate that came provided. So we swapped that out and added this uh, support on here as well. That's working really well for us so far. And then finally, this model came with a toy lock on here. This is a simple uh, lock that you can use to secure any uh, toys, so bikes or anything else. We may well end up using it to secure the hitch when we're not using the trailer. That's it on the outside of the trailer. Why don't we head indoors and see what we can see in there? So here by the entrance, we have a um, uh, hanging, hanging closet and a pantry with uh, some shelves. There are uh, drawers on the bottom, two of them, and then another uh, shelf down here. Here we have a control panel. There is a button for extending it um, and uh, retracting the awning, uh, for the button for a slide out, and then we have buttons for lights, and then a uh, water pump, water heater, gas heater, and the tank uh, measurement. And we have another button for the solar, turning on solar on and off. Um, next, this is the kitchen. Uh, pretty good counter space. The cover for the sink is completely flush with the, uh, with the rest of the countertop, so that makes it easy to cook on it. Um, nice faucet, extendable faucet. And um, we have a, a radio here that connects with the TV and can play sound, also including from Bluetooth devices. Uh, there's a big uh, cupboard here. Uh, lights for the kitchen. Then here is a spice rack, another um, cupboard under the sink. We have two drawers here. Next up we have a three burner stove. Um, the cover uh, flips up. In the back there, is, there are holes for uh, knives. This is also flush with the rest of the countertop. Um, then there is an oven. Uh, which is uh, pretty okay size. Then we have a microwave. And let's move on next to the fridge. Um, this is two part fridge. Freezer is separate uh, from the fridge. It is um, on auto mode now, it can switch between gas and electric. And this is the fridge. Um, fairly decent size. Um, below the fridge is the fuse access box. This RV has a full queen size bed. This is a residential size, not an RV bed, which that makes it so much better because the feet doesn't dangle off the bed anymore. 
Um, then there are a um, big closet on each of the sides and we have some shelves up, uh, up the bed. And then right by the bed there are two sockets and uh, two USB plugs on each side. There is a reading light under the bed. Um, this bedding is ours, it didn't come with this particular bedding. Then we have a curtain that you can uh, roll across uh, and separate the bed from the rest of the area. And then under the bed, there is a storage space uh, when lifting the bed. And also there are drawers underneath that space on, on each side. Uh, so this RV has a single slide. Uh, it has dinette on, on it. That is actually a really, really good size. I think it's larger than that than we've seen in other uh, models. It has windows in the back, a big window on the side, another window on that side. Um, this converts into a bed. Under the cushion, there is a drawer. That's fairly big. And um, actually there's another um, storage space on this side of the dinette underneath the cushions. Here we have a TV. Uh, it comes out. Um, there is also a thermostat. The space between the wall and the slide out is uh, quite short, but you probably could, could still put some stuff in here. Next, let's go into the bathroom. Here we have a sink. Uh, it has a space to put stuff on the top with a mirror. And um, there's some more storage space underneath, underneath the sink. And then uh, we have a shower here. The shower has a button to turn off the flow at the head level. And a porcelain toilet with a foot flash. And we have some hooks on the wall for the towels and pretty deep space here. There is a fan in the bathroom. And we have a skylight above the shower. Let's look at other things on the roof in this RV. We have an AC on the roof that comes out here with uh, ducts um, vented throughout the RV. We have another one here. And on the roof there is also two speakers for the uh, speaker system. And we have another skylight above the dinette, which adds a lot of light in this RV. Besides the AC, it also has a furnace and furnace vents. There are some in the bathroom. There is one uh, right down here and by the bathroom door. And there is another one by the bed. The ducting for the furnace runs under the floor and it keeps um, the water tanks uh, from freezing in cold weather. This concludes the tour of our brand new Outdoors RV 21 RBS. Uh, 21 is the uh, length of it uh, inside the box and the total length from bumper to the front hitch is uh, 24 feet 11 inches.